Welcome back to another episode of For the Love of Cinnamon. Today we will be cooking beef and potato curry. This is a slight savory dish that combines potatoes and tomatoes with the creamy sophistication of coconut milk, Ceylon cinnamon, but we just won't add the chili. Um, one of the tricks to this dish is the fact that the tomatoes blend really well with the Ceylon cinnamon. Remember, you do not, you do not want to use cassia cinnamon because it has a very spicy, powerful flavor uh, with a little bit um, bitter tang to it so what you want is to use the Ceylon cinnamon which has a very mild flavor and uh, actually blends really well with another herbs and spices and you'll realize that uh, once you taste this dish you won't even know that it has Ceylon cinnamon in it even though it's called cinnamon beef curry. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I think it's time we take a look at the ingredients that we need for today's recipe. And as you can see here on the layout in front of me, I have a lot of ingredients. But don't be intimidated, I promise. It's These are ingredients that you've seen before and I'm sure you've used before. We've definitely used them in past recipes that we've done, so you're all familiar with it. So, um, for the purpose of making everything simple, we've kind of divided the ingredients in two one needed for the beef marinade and the rest of the ingredients for the rest of the dish. What you need to know is that you will need to marinate the beef for about 30 minutes if not longer. Uh, and these are the ingredients that we need for that. And I have here oil and black pepper and red wine vinegar and I have unroasted curry powder, Sri Lankan, it has to be Sri Lankan because this is a Sri Lankan dish, um, salt, turmeric and paprika. Now the reason we're using paprika is that we don't want our curry dish to be spicy and hot. Um, if you want your dish to be hot, definitely you can use chili powder and you can use as much as you want and you can make it as hot as, as you want. Uh, but as I said, we don't want ours to be hot, hence we're using paprika. And um, I have some more oil for the rest of the dish and I have some cloves and cardamom pods and the cardamom pods will give it a smoky flavor, really delicious. And uh, both of these uh, ingredients I will crush later before I put them in, in the dish. I also have some lemongrass. My preference is to use the frozen one because it's readily available, it's easy to preserve and you can find it in any store. But if you have fresh one and if you want to use fresh one, please go ahead. Um, the, the flavor will not change. I also have curry leaves and I understand these are hard to you know get by and usually when I get curry leaves and I get extra I just put them in a ziploc bag and freeze them and I can use them for you know future recipes. Um, some minced garlic, ginger paste, salt and obviously the Ceylon cinnamon. This is your main ingredient. Without this ingredient your dish will not come out properly. And as you can see, it looks like parchment paper, like somebody rolled up parchment paper, and it's actually very soft, and I could easily break it if I wanted to right now. And this is the can it comes in on our website, cinnamonbog.com. We also have some tomato paste, uh, some coconut milk, water, um, diced um, onions, and some potato. And I think we went over all the ingredients, and the next step is to marinate our beef and get everything ready. Let's get our dish started. So as I mentioned, we have to start by marinating the, uh, the beef. And um, what I'll do is I'll put all the spices in the oil, make it sort of a paste, and then just throw that paste on, um, on the beef, and then just mix the beef. So we'll add everything together here. prepared here a little spoon just so I can add them all and mix them all and as you can see be, be, you know because of all the powders and everything it kind of turns a little pasty and we'll mix it really well because you want to make sure that everything's mixed well and coated well okay <clears throat> and once we've done that we're going we're gonna throw it on top prepared a glove that I'm going to wear while I'm mixing this all together. Now it will stick to your glove and if you don't have the proper glove it might come off but you know just, just work with it. Just be creative. 
and make sure that the beef is co well coated with everything. And remember, you need to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. If you want to leave it longer, you could, but just make sure that you put it in the fridge in that case because you don't want the meat to spoil. So at this point, we've heated some oil in our pan and we're gonna continue by adding the curry leaves and the lemongrass and we're gonna, going to saute them for about a minute. And while they saute, what I'm going to do is crush the cardamom pods and the cloves together. So we crush them here. cardamom pods that we just crushed with the cloves. Don't forget your salon cinnamon stick and the ginger. Who wants to come up? Okay, there we go. So we got them all together and we'll saute these for another two, three minutes. You want to stir frequently. Remember you don't want them to burn. It is amazing. It smells delicious. I promise. I'm already hungry. I look forward to finishing this dish because I'm really hungry right now. The onions are sauteed and I can tell you it smells delicious. The next step is to add the beef in here that we've marinated and mix it in a little bit. And then while we add the beef, we're gonna add the tomato paste. You will need probably about two tablespoons. You can kind of eyeball it if you want it more tomato-y. I guess I just made up a word. Anyways, if you want a more intense tomato flavor, you can add, you know, three tablespoons. If you don't want an intense tomato flavor, you can just add, you know, two. You know, be enough. Add that. And I'm gonna mix them all well together. As you can see, it looks delicious. And I can tell you, it smells divine. Oh, it's completely worth it. You really wanna try this dish, I promise. And once we've uh, mixed everything together, you want to let it sort of simmer, marinate for about five minutes. Not marinate, I'm sorry. Um, simmer, I guess, or stir fry for five minutes. Beef has been sauteing for five minutes, and as you can see, it looks really good. And we'll continue by adding the potatoes and sauteing everything together for another five minutes, and then we're ready to add the water. And you know what, at this point in time, we'll add the salt as well. If there's no salt, there's no taste. Okay, so we'll add it add, mix them very well together. Remember, saute them for five more minutes. Okay, so everything has been sauteed together. We're ready to add the water. I have here four cups of water. And technically you're supposed to add as much water to where it covers the meat and the potatoes because you will let it simmer on medium heat for 30 minutes. So basically, if four cups is not enough, then you need to add less. If four cups is too much, obviously you need to add less. So this is what I have here. I'm gonna add the rest of the water just to make sure. So see my meat and potatoes are covered with, with the water. I'm gonna mix them well in. 
This is the time where you can check for salt, and if you need more salt, just add more salt. It all depends on you and you know your taste. Okay. Done that. I'm gonna cover it, medium low, and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Basically, you wanna check and see if the meat is tender and the potatoes are tender as well. Not mushy, just tender, okay? So, let's let it simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, so we've simmered everything together for at least 30 minutes. And um, as you can see, we have extra gravy, but that's because we wanted extra gravy. We'll serve our curry with rice. So that, that just works perfect. And obviously once it's cooked, you wanna leave it, uh, let it rest for a little bit so the gravy can be absorbed in the potato. Uh, but at this point, we'll add the coconut milk. And remember, you do not want to overheat the coconut milk, hence you will have your heat on low. And we'll mix everything together and simmer some more for about five more minutes. Just just mix all the flavors together because the coconut is just works wonders. I, I promise, works wonders. So here everything is mixed together. And our heat is on low. And we'll let it simmer for five more minutes. And we're almost done. So good news, our dish is done. As you can see, I've put it in a serving dish and I have it all here. I have a little bit of extra gravy because that's how I like it and we prepared some some rice with it and everything else. Um, it smells delicious. My kitchen just smells divine right now and this is the place you'd wanna be. And I will serve um, the curry with rice that I made with, a, it's basically cinnamon rice and all you do is add a cinnamon stick, some turmeric in your rice cooker and this is the result. And I've also made some green beans with onions and with, uh, with fried onions and with garlic and all this together just works perfectly. So I'll go ahead and serve. Mm, it smells so good. I look forward to trying this dish because all the flavors and everything we have here just works perfectly. So this is it. I really, I really hope you enjoyed this dish. It's been a pleasure you know, spending time with you and telling you how to do it. Once again, my name is Daniela and I look forward to seeing you next time for another exciting recipe with Salon Cinnamon. I'll see you next time. Bon appetit.